Alright, welcome to another video on Wonder Hero. So this is an update on day day two, I guess, uh, of the launch. Day two after the launch of the game, and there's already been changes in the economy, and the economy actually is kind of crashing, or the prices are kind of crashing. So let's go to the Wonder Hero main website and let's look at. Uh, so this is my account. Okay, if you log into the account, we can track the prices of. The WND price, which is still pretty stable, about one dollar, but the Hon price, the utility token Hon, has literally crashed just in the second day. So I mentioned that in the first day when it launched, it was uh, ten cents. Then on the first day after it launched, it was down to seven cents, and now second day after it launched, it's down to three point three cents. So in my prediction video, in my first video, I predicted uh, that what if it dropped to two cents? that you can still break even in like uh, two months but now with the, the rate at which the horn price is crashing it looks like it's going to go to I don't know 0, 0.0 something cents so like the from the rate that it's crashing like most likely the players will never be able to break even from selling horn so I think what's happening is that people are dumping horn as they farm it so uh I myself have been uh, dumping the horn that I have as well. So obviously you could sell your horn on Pancake Swap by doing a withdrawal. So you go to your account, you can withdraw your coins. So this is something I think the creators didn't really account for because they do allow people to withdraw it anytime that they want. So people are immediately withdrawing their WND and their horn coins and I assume more horn coins than WND coins and they are selling it on the market. So WND itself is holding its value well, so people aren't panic selling WND. Like you can see here over one week, WND has held out its price relatively well, like dollar plus dropped down to 80 cents, but still held up around a dollar. So today when I sold it, I sold five of my WND coins, I sold it at one dollar and five cents per coin. But Hon coin itself, if you look at Hon, so uh -huh. Pawn is now down to 33 cents, right? 3.3 cents, not 33 cents, 3.3 cents. And I mentioned that just on launch day itself, which was uh, January, yep, it was at 10 cents on launch day and on January 26. So immediately after the launch day, people started farming a horn and started dumping in the market. And it's been crashing, it's down 40%. On first day and then it's down another probably 40 to 50 percent on the second day of the game so the rate that is falling if it's going to fall 50 percent every single day so this coin will become basically worthless very 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 soon like within one week of playing the game the coin will probably be worthless so people are seeing the price drops and they're panic selling it so and the more they panic sell the more they drive the price down but surprisingly WND's coin token price is still relatively stable uh, probably because you're, you're not you're not able to get a lot of WND coins as compared to the amount of Hon coins you can get. So if you look at my account today, I managed to get 423 Hon. So that's quite a significant amount and I only managed to get uh, 2 WND. So your WND coins are kept at 2 per day but Hon you can technically get up to 550 per day. So how did I get so much Hon whereby in the previous video I only got like 180-ish? is because you can clear the weekly quest for it. So your daily quests, obviously, I mentioned in the earlier video, you just clear all the five stages, per five uh, story stages, and you can get 100 Hon. So that is kept to a daily thing. So one account, you can only earn 100 per day. But the weekly quest, you get 200. If you enhance your equipment five times. So obviously, we need to use Hon to enhance your equipment. Like I can show you here the game itself but what you can do is you can upgrade the cheapest equipment you can find for example this is my level one equipment if i enhance it it only costs 30 hon right so i can enhance five spe five different equipment like I enhance a weapon i could modify it cost 40 hon it's also level one i could upgrade the armor enhance it for 30 hon as well so the cheapest way to get five upgrades because i've already played one day so I already have one upgrade and just need to upgrade four more times. 
So uh, just spend like uh, obviously if you take a calculator that's 30 multiplied by 4 right? So just spend 120 Hon and then you can get back uh, 200 Hon. So that's an 80 Hon profit. So by spending it to get that profit of 80 Hon then people can just yep withdraw that Hon and then dump it into the market right? Sell it, exchange it for USD. USDT, exchange it for TETA per se. So the other thing I want to update is that the because as I'm playing the game, even on the second day, I actually got uh, drops of weapons and hero skins. So I actually got a drop for this, which is a Sarah weapon. So since I got a Sarah weapon drop yesterday, it prompted me to go into the market to buy a Sarah skin. And now the prices, because uh, it seems like people are getting drops pretty frequently, like just from a day of playing, I managed to get one weapon skin and then today from playing uh because i completed the weekly quest right you go to the weekly quest because the weekly quest gives you a chest which gives you a skin or a weapon then from completing the weekly quest just on the second day of playing i managed to get another hero skin which is a fuma skin so I think players are realizing that they can get skins and weapon skins and hero skins quite literally quite easily from rushing to complete their weekly quests as well as uh, going through the story mode. So the more story mode they go through, the the more the higher the chance that they can get chests that drops skins for weapon uh, weapons as well as skins, and they are dumping it on the market as well. So if you look at Puma Kujiro skins. Uh, previously on launch day on 26, in order to buy a skin, you needed to pay like um, 100 USD. And then on the day of making the video, which is day one of the game, it was around 60 to 70 USD. So there was like a 30% drop in price. And then now the price has dropped further 50%. So now skins, the lowest floor price for the skins are costing like 34. And not just this. Like previously, Nightingale skins were costing as much as 100 over 130 USD. And this, this is not bug, right? This, you are able to purchase this. It was costing 130 USD on launch day. Now, two days later, they have dropped uh, more than half of that. They have dropped like 60% now. They are only 60 USD. And I mentioned I got uh, a Sarah weapon skin. So I got my Sarah weapon skin, which is now only worth like 19 to 20 USD if you're selling on the market. And I spend money to buy the hero skin, which is about 40. So basically, yeah, people are getting the drops and then they're dumping the drops onto the market, trying to cash it out and sell it off as cheap as price as possibly can. Uh, this also lowers the entry price for new players as well. So it's a good thing for new players, but obviously it's a bad thing for existing players because existing players want to get their ROI as soon as possible. And with the prices dropping quickly, because of the huge supply of skins and so on. So it means that it, more and, it becomes more and more difficult for players to actually earn money to it. And you know, they are even dropping skins, the game is even dropping skins that are not available on launch. So they're heroes like Helen von Krauss only selling at 25 USD. Uh, these are cons originally considered to be rare heroes, but now apparently People are getting them in daily drops in the, the chest and they are selling on the marketplace for cheap. Then I believe earlier there was a bug. I believe I almost got a friend skin. So Yu Kori, uh, Yuri Kim skin. This is also another rare, a rare hero. Yep, Yuri skin. So now they're selling at 37 USD. So this is not available on launch. You cannot even buy this hero skin from the Wonder Box. But because people are getting it from the game itself, they are dumping it onto the market for cheap. So you can actually get it really cheap. So imagine now the entry price for buying one hero has become really low. So you want to buy the cheapest skin on the on the market, 22 USD with the so that's Valkyrie, right? And then you want to get a weapon for Valkyrie. The lowest price is only 20 USD. So now your entry price from hero skin 22. Weapon skin is 20, so your entry price is now like 44, right? 44 to 45 USD per hero. So you technically only need one hero to start the game. You can immediately start the game by just buying that one hero skin and one weapon. But of course, it's recommended to have at least three heroes, at least two to three heroes. So if you multiply by two to three, 
45. So now, previously my entry price was about 320, right? So now the entry price to get two to three heroes is basically about, let's say 50, let make it 50, multiply by three. Get three heroes is now, price is only 150 USD. So I'm tracking my returns here. And this is how much I've spent. This is how much I've earned tracking it there. So all in all, in total from the beginning, if you look at the date which I bought it, skins. So for example, I bought Ashanti skin for 67 USD on launch day. Now the same Ashanti skin has devalued to, let's, let's look at Ashanti, right? Same Ashanti hero skin has now devalued to 30 USD. So it dropped more than half, right? It dropped like 60%. And yeah, so the the asset values are dropping very, very, very quickly because there's a lot of people flooding the market, trying to get rid of it. And there's too little people, too little. There's very little new users that are buying up the skins. So if the skins are not being bought, the prices will go, keep going lower and lower as more and more skins and weapons flood the marketplace. So you can see that I bought uh, on launch day. So 26 is the launch day, right? So I bought weapons for 20, 25. Uh, this skin is 69. So it's a little bit more expensive. Then I've bought weapons for 34. This is a weapon for 19. This is, I believe, a skin, hero skin for 55. So now yesterday I bought the Sarah skin for 59. But the same Sarah skin, same Sarah skins today only costing like 42 so they are dropping like 20 percent per day because uh, bought it 27 right and now it's the 28 for me and prices are dropping very very quickly so is this a good time to enter i honestly do not know because if you are entering now even though your initial investment is really low like you have to take note that as you're playing the game your assets are devaluing at a really, really fast rate. Like the market price for your assets are going down lower and lower and lower. Even if you were to try and sell your assets to exit, you're probably looking at a lot lower prices when you want to exit. And any tokens that you farm, that means especially the horn tokens, they are devaluing at such a fast rate that whatever tokens that you have today, they will devalue by 50 to 60% per day. So they keep devaluing and devaluing. The prices keep going down and down like 60% each and every single day. Within like a week of playing, your the horn will like, the horn like, um, in my initial video on day one, right? I calculated that if you are able to earn like 180 horn a day, you are getting like $12 a day. But now in just the second day, let's say if you're farming 180 a day, now, after two days, right, at 0.033, you're only getting $5, $6 a day. So it's uh, it's about half the price. So that is assuming if you're getting 180 horn a day, um, then or if horn devalues further. So let's say it drops to, it drops by another 50%, right? So let's say by tomorrow, the coin price is maybe 1.5 cents, 180 horn. Then you'll be earning two dollars a day, and then this this earnings potential each day goes down by half every single day. So you might be going down to like one dollar on day four, and then you might be earning fifty cents a day on day five. Then you might be earning twenty five cents a day on day six, and so on. So at the rate that it's going down, with who who knows when the coin price will stabilize? Like maybe never, because as long as uh, the coin supply exceeds the demand people will just keep trying to sell it. And if they see the price dropping sharply, they are in more of a hurry to sell it as well. There'll be no no investors that want to hold the coin because the coin is developing at such a fast rate. So just wanted to do a quick update, post out this video so that um, for people who are considering buying the game, they're doing research, they're uh, buying heroes to enter into the game. You have to be aware of the risk you're going to take, right? If you are entering the game at this stage, even though it's brand new, it looks like the prices are going down very sharply. So prices of everything, the skins, the weapons, the coins, everything is going down really sharply. The value of it is going down. So maybe one, maybe by one or two months, the game will be really accessible to play. Like maybe you just need to spend $10 like just to get into the game. You can buy a, a hero skin as well as a weapon. But that will mean that for the early investors such as us, who has put in like a few hundred dollars, or how about those early investors who put like 
buy the wonder boxes. They pay $200 per wonder box just to get a set of hero skin, a weapon as well as some equipment. So people who buy three heroes with 600 USD, right? They will almost never get their return investment. Like after a month of playing, all of their their assets, their hero skins will devalue from 200 USD per hero to down to like maybe 10 USD per hero. So then they will never get their return on investment back. So obviously there's still the game still has more to review. Like there's still PvP not reviewed yet. So maybe if PvP is reviewed, if certain builds become meta, certain heroes become meta in PvP, there might be more demand for it. Because according to uh, the ladder is that PvP, you earn certain amount of horn for your rank. If you're higher rank in PvP, you get more horn per week. So you get more rewards there. But with the horn price dropping so much, like does it even matter whether you play PvP or not, right? Because if uh, each coin is worth like 0.001 cents, right? Let's say the coin is like gone to gone to shit, right? The coin is worth 0.001, 0.1 cents, for example. Then if you're earning like 200 horn a week, so a week you're only earning, earning like 20 cents extra, right? So there's no value to PvP at that point as well. So as uh, there's also Infinite War, but it unlocks at player level 3, which I'm soon to get. And yeah, so hopefully this update is useful. And see you guys next time.